Using the right knife is absolutely crucial if you wanna get your food prepped quickly, safely, and beautifully. So when I'm deciding which knife to pull out of the block, I don't just think about what I'm cutting, I think about how I'm going to cut it. So here's what I mean. If you're cutting something directly on the board and you're doing a more traditional chopping and slicing and dicing, you wanna use either a chef's knife or a santoku knife. They'll both give you about the same results. It's really more about your personal preference. A chef's knife has a curved blade that lets you rock the knife back and forth for nice, even slices. This is the real workhorse in most of your kitchens and your go-to knife for almost everything. A Santoku knife has a straighter blade that makes chopping really easy. I like using it when I want really thin, precise slices. A utility knife is a true must-have because it can do just about anything. It's smaller than a chef's knife, but larger than a paring knife, so it's a great size for everyday use. You'll use this knife when you're cutting things away from the cutting board and when you need to maneuver around something a little bit more. A paring knife is perfect for those small, precise cutting tasks, like peeling and trimming. You'll use this knife when you're holding the food that you wanna cut. Now, bread and tomato knives are a little bit more food specific, but you're gonna use them all the time. Break out a serrated knife when the food that you're cutting has a really hard crust and a soft interior. The serrations are strong enough to cut through the tough outside without squishing the inside. The next time you're standing at the kitchen counter trying to get ready for dinner, think about what you're cutting and how you're going to cut it. Then make sure you have the right knife for the job.